you ever have way too many cucumbers? Uh, we've been growing them in the garden, we've got that many, I don't know what to do with them all. So I thought I'd have a go at relish. And here we have about a kilo and a half of homegrown cucumbers, a couple of onions, and you can use a bell pepper. I'm using mixed chilies because that's what we've got. They've homegrown as well and they need using, so I might as well bung them all in together. So we'll start, this is a couple of day process because it has to be, um, I don't know you call it, sweated or drained, but you put salt on it and take the juice out. So first off, I do a cucumber first so you can see. Cut it down twice. Get a teaspoon, scoop out all the seed. That's the cucumber, all gutted, shall we say. All the seeds are taken out. Pop them to one side. And I know who will love all of that cucumber. Well, some of it. And that'll be the tortoise. I'll go and pop some out for him, and then I will be back. So, here's some chilies. I'm not great at chopping, so I'm just gonna prep everything and bung it in the processor. So, chilies, these are super, super mild, hot tomato chilies, homegrown. Just take them. <laughs> Sorry. Take two. It's just like the Yorkshire Terrier walking past. Uh, yeah, so take all the uh, stems out of them where you can. Oh. And these ones are a little bit warmer, so I'm just going to do a few of them. And they need to be the red ones. These are Thai chilies, but they're all mixed in there together to turn. So that's the chilies prepped. And onions. I'm just gonna get these ready to blitz. So literally just take the skins off, cut them in half. Now, I like my relishes quite fine. I don't like it too chunky. You can't spread it in your cheese sandwich. So I'm gonna blitz this in the food processor until they're quite fine. But uh, I'll come back and show you in a mo on that one. So, cheapest chips processor. I'm just gonna lob in everything. Onions, chilies, cucumbers, I'm gonna add one at a time because I don't want them over. Actually, I'm gonna blitz them separately. This is going to be loud, but this is basically the easiest way for me to do it. So I'll play some music. Do you enjoy that music? And I'm going to transfer that. You can see how fine that is. Seeds and all, because they're not hot, into the bowl. And then I'll do the uh, cucumbers in batches, I think, so they don't turn to a pulp. I'll show you what I've transferred it into. I've got a colander with some muslin in, just to catch it, because it's so fine, it'll go through the uh, pieces in the bottom, the holes in the colander. So we're going to put it all in there and then add the salt and leave it overnight. That's it. Let's get on with the cucumber. More music. Key to music, maestro. That's everything all chopped up, to be honest. That's quite a bowlful. So I might do so we can get the salt through everything. Oh, it's already dripping in the bottom. Is pop that into the bowl as such. There you go. Now 
Now I'll put the salt on, a good handful. Not too much so that it tastes too salty. Mix it all together. It smells nice, like a salsa. That's it, I'm gonna feed it back into that pot with the muslin cloth, cover it over and leave it overnight. Stand that on top of there, voila. I might even put um, a plastic bowl full of water obviously with the lid on just to weight it down to help push that through and speed it along a bit quicker. Oh, I'll do that now. There you go, bog standard lunchbox full of water just to give it a little bit of weight. And that's it. So it's been a couple of hours, I just want to see what's occurring. Not much. I'm going to put the rest of the salt in now. So that will bring us up to 100 grams in total. Mix all that in and then put it to bed. Leave it till the morning. Catch you tomorrow. So, back to the cucumber relish. Overnight, let's see how much it's reduced down. I emptied it before I went to bed. So that it had uh, a clear drain space. Ooh, there's not a lot left to be honest, considering that was almost full. <clears throat> right, next stage, let's uh, reduce down the vinegar and get the sugar dissolved. So that looks very nice. But let's move on. So vinegar, there is, I've got 350 mils of that one. And I don't know, a couple hundred of that one. It should all be cider vinegar, but as usual, I don't have a, enough of that one, so I'm not going to Tesco's just to get another one just of that, to use half of it. So I might as well finish off what's on this one. It's still vinegar, just a different color. So that'll do. Spices wise, I have one teaspoon of chili flakes, a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. No black onion seeds, that's better. And 200 grams of sugar and an ounce of corn flour. I'm gonna put all of that in a pan, get the sugar melted, and then we'll add the veggies to it. So in here, your total of 600 mils of cider and red wine vinegar. grams sugar. Let that dissolve for a bit. Back with you soon. So the sugar's not quite done but we're nearly there so I'm going to uh, start adding the other ingredients. I'm just going to squeeze out any excess juice from the cucumber and then pop him in. Is that one done? It's a way to get rid of a load of cucumber. It smells delicious, I hope it tastes as good. I've never made this one before. And now I'm gonna put in the corn flour and the spices before it gets too hot, otherwise it might thicken. I don't want that to happen. And that's it, same as all the other chutneys. Let it simmer down, probably an hour. And then we'll come back. Simples. See you in a bit. Well, this has had about 45 minutes and as you can see, it's just starting to cling to the bottom of the pan. Everything's soft. I've tasted it, it's really nice. You can still taste the cucumber, even though everything else is added in and it's not too spicy. So I'm now going to put it in through the jars. So again, the jars have been sterilised. Try not to make too much mess. It's not the easiest job in the world. I'll be looking forward to my chutneys at Christmas just because I can have them. I have to get my thinking head on and try and think up a chilli one. I 
Look at that, one perfect jar. And no mess. It's a miracle. It's just wiped round the jar. I'm closing this just for your effect, but I will take the lid off and let it cool. And there you go, one jar, mild cucumber relish, ready to pack up, ready for crimbo. Job done. Catch you next time.